I, I could call up names, people who are standing still there, but I only do that at schools. Okay, I start. Ladies, gentlemen, diverse people, welcome to the end of the second day. And yes, there's only one, one day left and we should cherish this moment with a little reminder. I want you all always to remember whatever people say. You, everybody who is here, you are not wiki average. You are wiki median. And that's a quite a difference. I mean it. Uh, again, we have this system in order to generate some positive vibes collectively. And I would ask you to go on with the slides. Please use your smartphone. This is something I don't say lightly. Find the link and then use that code. It's a nice music Liana chose. Nice. I believe you chose this, Zico. I don't dare looking at her. Okay, what, what do you think? Raise your hand if you need more time. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. You can always join later. The uh, link will still be there, but we're going to start. Yes. So again, for starters, just to test the software and also you, uh -oh. we have a little question. Which program item saw the most participants today? What do you think? Hmm. I hope it's not too difficult. I will extend the time on this one. Yes. Or I cannot extend the time it's, on this one. It's, it's decent. Decent. Okay, we agree. Is it's it's a quite for for this group of people is quite good uh, response. Thank you. And the next slide, please. Is about a very serious topic. On the one hand, I must say you are the best audience I ever saw. You always listen to the presenter. You never have a screen in front of you, no laptop, no smartphone. But the downside is we are hardly visible on social media. So I wonder what's the reason for that? And I simply think you still need some suggestions what to post on social media. So um, could you please do the next quiz question with some ideas that you can post on social media? We do everything together. There's no I in Wikipedia. A Wikipedia article about you. The costs will surprise you. <laughs> Thanks to Wikipedia, I have friends in all parts of the world, but none in my neighborhood. And the local conference team is great, of course. They're all, wrong. They're all, wrong answers. <laughs> all wrong answers. I remember that I remind you that this is very new software for everybody, <laughs> including us. Okay, see, I, I see that the test is, it's a decent, decent uh, quote. Thank you. And please, the next slide. Yeah, this is again about the tomorrow world. And I always find it very hard, you know, predictions, they are so difficult to make, especially when they are about the future. And therefore, we have asked external help which is on his way or... We hope. Cornelius, may, are you here? Not. 
Okay. Well, or we'll later we'll have occasion yes, to... Yes, perhaps Cornelius can do a summation of what he got out of the sessions um, tomorrow in the closing tomorrow. session. Tomorrow, yes. <coughs> uh, pardon. Should we take the person for today for... You mean you could enjoy the presenter of tomorrow, today. That would also be future time. So. Is Ben here? Do you want to come do a little quick, I'm pulling Ben away from a conversation since he is not in the room right now. <laughs> ben, why don't you come up and give a quick overview of what your session is tomorrow yes. and why people should come. Yes. Don't feel as a replacement, it's just a different time. Well, that was awkward. I'm so sorry about that. Um, a little tired, jet lag right now. Uh, so tomorrow we have the last of the Belgrade Room uh, strategic sessions, just one. This one won't be repeated uh, and it's just an hour. And knowing that we were given the last slot at the conference when everyone will be tired, maybe a little talked out and things like that, we are going to do something that feels a bit more like a, almost like a theater exercise on our feet uh, where we will kind of think through a lot of possible future scenarios and see uh, what we what we agree with and what we disagree with, and we'll sort of arrange ourselves spatially to see where that agreement falls, where that disagreement falls, and so and then start to talk, have some discussion on our feet about what that means. Uh, like why why did you why did you stand here rather than there, and see where the agreement is feeling easy, and where we're seeing some different perspectives. So hopefully we'll learn a lot about the variety of points of view in this community, but with an eye toward reconciling them into a common agenda. So it's very much building on the themes that we've, that the other workshops have done, but it's taking a bit more of a playful uh, approach, you know, at the end of the conference to see, and I think with a particular emphasis on technological change and the things that are going to make, you know, our evolution challenging in the way that the media and technology landscape is evolving. So I hope that makes some sense. If that arouses your curiosity, good. Come and you will see what this is like and uh, we'll have a lot of talking and moving and it'll be good. And I'll be co-facilitating with uh, my colleague Yop, who is maybe not in the room right now. So that's it. I hope you'll join us. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And we go on with our little slides. And again, it's about your great session tomorrow. Uh, as you see, there are not so many left uh, on Sunday, but still I would like to have the Wheel of Fortune going and uh, ask the lucky winner of this contest, please come here and tell us first what your session is about and second, why is it great? Liana. Oh, luckily it's not mine. Learning tool at universities. Who is the lucky winner who wants to tell what's going to happen tomorrow? This is Nuria. Is she here? Come on up. So we, we don't uh, force anybody. So if you want to recline, then, then we... Yeah? What is it about and why is it great? Why is it great? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure. So, okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna talk about um, using Wikipedia as a learning tool in university. I'm an adjunct in uh, Barcelona, and um, I mainly work with um, Asian art. So that means uh, working with um, a field that it's uh, full of holes in the Catalan Wikipedia, which is our uh, main domain. We use also, or we uh, mess around with also the Spanish Wikipedia. But uh, yeah, I, I want to talk about engagement, and uh, which is all unknown by everybody here. Maybe that it's it's pretty low after the uh, compulsory work is done. So um, it's, I, I wanted just to share some thoughts about it and you know, uh, maybe some uh, other points of view on the session. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot. Do you want a second shot? Yes. Or if, should I use the other If microphone? we roll it again, it's either going to be mine or yours, Eka. This one, yeah. Uh, 
So I am curious. Ah. Oh. <laughs> then, unless you have I will to remove the entry for the next spin, so we don't do that again. <laughs> Artificial intelligence in the classroom, and uh, I don't know what to say. I, I know the situation. So tomorrow I'm going to have a session about some background to think about artificial intelligence, how a wiki works, what are the elements of a wiki, uh, other processes, how does a writing process work. And in that you can think about collaborative writing, but also at what point artificial intelligence could make a difference. So welcome to my great presentation tomorrow. Should we give it a last try for... Well, it actually landed on mine, but... <laughs> so, a third one. <laughs> so, I will, I will talk about the dashboard tips and oh, tricks. Yes. Um, so, the, the dashboard tips and tricks session is one I am co-facilitating with Amanda, um, who is here. Um, and so, we are going to do a deep dive on the programs and events dashboard. I know it's a tool many of you use. I bet I will teach you something you didn't know about it. So if you, even, even advanced users, will find interesting and new ways to help, um, help you with your programs with the dashboard. And then Amanda will do a great overview of how she's using it in Brazil and we'll talk more about the context of how she integrates it into her other work that she does with the um, instructor she works with. So uh, I encourage you to come by. Although Zico's great. session and Ben's session and Nuria's session are also at the same time, and they will all be great too. So, you know, take you can't lose. There, there's all good sessions. You know which sessions. one is the greatest. So, yes. Thank you. And no, 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 no. Back, 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 back. That was for tomorrow. Uh, one last uh, admonishment because of uh, unpleasant events in the past. I must admonish you that also today, tonight, in the restaurant, the universal code of conduct will be in force. This means you are not supposed to uh, correct typos on the menu card and you are not supposed to go in discussion with the waiter why calamari are mentioned under fish. <laughs> we had a little um, problem to find a suitable restaurant. The local team informed me so there was a restaurant that said so we have um, at seven o'clock there will be a warm buffet. At 7.30 there will be a tepid or lukewarm buffet and at 8 o'clock there will be a cold buffet and we, we didn't take that restaurant so we found something awesome and I suppose that Philip is now here with some information. So thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so um, housekeeping uh, stuff about today's tour. Just to remind everyone about everything <laughs> relevant to that. So we start at six in front of the hotel. So please be punctual. The buses cannot wait too much, too long. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll have enough time. We're finishing up soon, right? So we'll, you'll have an hour to go to your hotel if you don't stay here um, to refreshen up, to maybe change and then come back here. Um, do bring an umbrella if you have one, because we do expect some rain. Um, it has been a nice day throughout, but then the forecast says 94% of rain, so um, <laughs> I'm, I'm inclined to believe it. Um, then again, it should have rained like two hours ago, but then. Um, anyway, um, the plan is we're going to board the buses, two buses, either one is good, but don't all go to the same one. Um, and. We're going to drive around town. There's going to be a guide who's going to tell you a bit about history of Belgrade and about the landmarks that you'll see or might not be able to see because of the protests. So please be aware of that. We're sorry about that, but then it wasn't planned by us. You can join them, of course. Um, you're, I wouldn't say welcome to, but if you want to, we won't stop you. No, it's not a part of the city tour. <laughs> It is not part of the city tour. Um, the buses will leave us around somewhere near Kalemegdan Fortress, which is the fortress in Belgrade, the only one. Um, and you will be able to follow the guided tour. 
we have a great guide who's done a lot of tours before for us, uh, especially for Kalamegdan, which is uh, a place with rich history. Um, and um, you'll walk around Kalamegdan. It might be slippery because of the uh, rain, or it might not be. Who knows? But be ready to wear non slippers, <laughs> so <laughs> the shoes that are comfortable and made for walking. Um, yeah, and then 8.30, we'll, be, we'll arrive at the uh, restaurant called Trisheshira. So if you do not want to be a part of the tour, no one's forcing you, you can go directly to the restaurant, which is, again, optional, no one's forcing you. Uh, but we would like to see you there. Um, yeah, the dinner ends at 11.30. And we will guide you to the buses. They will wait. All right, 11, 10, 11, 15, 20, around that time, because it will take us a, a few minutes to reach the buses, which will be waiting for us and would not be able to wait too long because it's the city center. So on that note, if you do not wish to wait for the bus or if you want to stay longer in the city, you're by no means obliged to take the bus. You can take a taxi or a bus or something a public bus or anything else to reach, or you can walk here, why not? It's an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> good sobering experience. Um, <laughs> so, um, but yes, our organized buses will leave at 11.30 from the spot that we will show you. So, please enjoy yourself. <laughs> you did not expect that. Um, yeah. And just a, a small update, no, not an update, but information. Tomorrow program starts at 9.30, a bit later than today. So we'll have more time to rest, to sleep, to be productive for Ben and Liana's and Ziku sessions. So, and the closing. So yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, if you have any questions, I'm here. If not, then that's it for me. Yes. Wait, you have a question? No? Sorry, I have a very technical question. We can sleep longer, but the breakfast is till nine still, or till nine thirty then? Till ten. Thank you. And I have a question. Is it possible to take uh, the bus from the restaurant a little bit earlier, or not? We have to take till the midnight almost. We have to wait. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so the question was whether it's possible to take a bus earlier. The answer is no, <laughs> sadly, uh, because this has been pre-organized. Um, so changing the schedule is not possible at this time. So 11.30 is the time. <laughs> we can help you out if you want to get back sooner with directions and buses and taxis. All right. Oh. There's some thunder out there. Hopefully that thunder resolves before we all get on the bus. <laughs> all right. Okay, thank you everyone. We will see you on the buses. In an hour.